to ring in the new year i figured i'd clean up my apartment as i was cleaning i was also making myself some dinner well my friends some dinner because they came over for us to celebrate the new year i made us some collard greens i think i made mashed potatoes with some gravy i always make some like southern cooking that's like my favorite thing i love collard greens mashed potatoes some candy yams some smothered something. I love it so much. It tasted so good. Um, I was also braiding my hair and cleaning the bathroom and yada yada. I definitely did not finish cleaning and braiding my hair before the year ended, but it was still a really great night. We drank, we talked, we laughed. It was a beautiful way for us to bring in the new year. And I got some dancing going on in the kitchen as I was making myself some yummy food. I really had a great time. And then I sat and I tried to organize my life. Hello and happy new year. Um, this is the first time I'm talking in this little video I'm doing. This is it. Hello and happy new year. Um, it's January 2nd and it's around like 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. And I am finally up and ready to go to the gym. And I am absolutely dreading it. Not because I don't want to go to the gym or because of my fear of the, uh, you know, resolution people. Uh, my gym is right by a uh, middle school and they're about to be let out. And um, I, don't, I, I, I don't know if I can do it. I texted my sister and I was like, so I can either go to the gym or I can like go on a nice little walk around a, a cemetery or like a park somewhere nearby and then do strength training at home. And my sister was like, go to the gym. And um, trying to, you know, follow her advice. And also fix this, because it broke. Um, God, I don't wanna do it. No, I'm going to, but I, I hate, because it's also the, the middle school that I went to and um, I remember how annoying I was and to be around uh, young people who are probably as annoying as I was in middle school does not sound very fun or appealing to me. <sighs> I'm gonna put on my headphones, I'm gonna blast it, I'm gonna enjoy my audiobook and get through this workout. And then I am gonna still go on a nice long walk so I can do my cardio. Um, I'm gonna do some stretches and everything at home because I still have my gym anxiety. And I don't know, doing stretches in front of a mirror um, by myself seems like daunting. I don't know why. What it took, like last time I was at the gym, I'm doing this thing now where um, I have these edibles, I fixed it. I have these edibles that I take that kind of that makes me like feel more productive. So I take like a tiny piece of it because I am not a, a weed girly. I take a tiny piece of it and then I like clean my whole apartment, reorganize my whole life, or I go to the gym. So I take a tiny piece. Um, it has not kicked in at all. Um, I'm just gonna finish drinking my water, use the bathroom, and then I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> I just don't want to interact with youthful people. I want the youth, the youths, to just go, mama, no, 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 go young people. I'm being dramatic. The thing is, is that I can record so many videos, so many pieces of content and then it all boils down to me just editing the video and i won't <sighs> okay so um i have like this vlog that i put together of when i went to dc in like october and all i have to do is add some like voice like what is it called some audio just to like explain everything that i'm doing 
but I just won't record the audio. Honestly, maybe I'll just type it all up. Maybe I'll just like do what I used to do when I used to edit videos back in my youth. And I used to just like type out like an explanation of all the videos. But the thing is that I want to update my like video making and just add the audio. Like I just need to add the audio. Or... Yeah, can you see my mouse? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, right after I said that I was going to start editing and I had to get things together, someone hopped into my lap. And now I have a cat in my lap. Okay. So you don't want to be the cat in my lap. Fine. She does want to be the cat in my lap. She just doesn't want to be held. I want to buy myself uh, the Lego typewriter for my birthday in two weeks. It is like a $200, $300 expense. I also want to take myself um, to go and get, getting a massage for my birthday. Um, and I know that my expenses are like a lot, but I really do want to treat myself. I might even, um, I was trying to put her on my shoulders, but I, that was a bad idea. That was on me. I might get myself some really fancy sushi. Oh my god. I definitely have scratches on my shoulder. Okay. That's fine. Let's put you, baby. Um, I might also get want to get sushi. But I, I'm like, I should stop spending so much money. But I can't, what if I would go for like a dining experience? I need a um, sugar daddy or someone who just wants to financially spoil me. Um, because I ha my, my tastes are too expensive and I need to figure out a way for me to do the things that I want to do, but cheaper. Cat on high! This is cat on high! 2319! She bit me. She bit me! Why did you drop yourself down like that? I'm like two seconds from the floor. The way she dramatically plopped herself down. And now she's back in my lap. Um, but anyways, uh, birthday's coming up. I have a lot of things that I want to do. The thing is that when I celebrate my birthday, I usually like to do it by myself. <sighs> I'm like, everyone just give me money. Just give me money so I can afford the spoiling that I want to do to spoil myself. All I need is your bank account. I shall be fine. Um, yeah. Back to editing. Can I edit now, Chai? Or. <laughs> I don't want to go to work today. I hate working at night at my job. I keep telling my manager, it's like, do not give me night shifts. I have done so much today. It's like I'm both doing things during the day before I have to go into work but then it's also like now that I've done all the things I want to lay down and go to sleep but now I have to go to work and like talk to people I don't want to talk to people who do I, who do I look like a talker sorry for my 28th birthday I want to change things up um I've been so many different hair colors and I started off this year I did my hair for the new year and I have like a video I'm alone in this apartment right now so hearing my door move scared the shit out of me but it was my cat um what what um so I wanted to do something different. Uh, last year I was going with my red hair, but then the girls were making red hair a bit too hot. There are too many black girls at my job with red hair. At first it was fun and games when it was just me and my three friends, but then more black women, even though we look great with red hair and I'm not bashing anyone who has the red hair, because everyone who has the red hair who is black, like they did the style, it ate, left no crumbs. 
But I'm just saying, like, I need something different. So, yeah. I'm going blonde. Um, the color colors that I'm using are, what is it, 213? This one does not say. But, um, I'm using these two. Uh, it's a little messy right now, and I do need to, like, leave so I can watch my friend's dog for a little bit which is so bad or so this one's 27 and yeah these are 613 uh so I combine the hair one thing that I already wish that I did was to find like a ombre kind of like a dark brown like 316 going into 27 but I think that's what I'm gonna do for my next hair look um, I bought a lot of hair because um, uh, the stores I moved and the stores in the area I mean I don't know if you noticed that I moved, but, uh, um, the stores in my area they don't have like long like length um, I was trying to go for like a 60 inch you know but this is only like 56 like the longest was 56 uh, which is fine for right now I as I was braiding it it's not as bad as I thought so it's fine um but yeah I am doing my braids and then when I'm completely finished I am going to get some wavy hair and then for my birthday I'm gonna do um goddess braids and add it in you know just to be cute but um, I'm trying to hurry up so that I can leave. I can either leave the house at 7 or uh, I'm also going to like give him a little treat. So I'm trying to, I got to make that before I go. I'm tired. I have to take like a 20 minute nap before I can continue trying to do my hair. Um, but I want to just finish the back row before I leave. And then when I'm at my friend's house and I'm watching his dog, um, I'm going to do different parts. So then when I come back, I'm just like straight up braiding. Cause tomorrow I picked up, I'm trying to pick up a shift for work because, um, I need money. And as much as I want to celebrate my birthday and not be at work at all whatsoever, um, I need money and I have rent to pay. <laughs> so, um, I'm, uh, trying to figure out a way for me to Just a couple weeks, I think maybe a week, after I finished braiding my hair for the new year, I decided that I needed to go blonde for my birthday. I haven't gone blonde before, I needed to do a new color. So, uh, going blonde and then doing a time lapse. This is my first time lapse, it's fine. For my birthday, I said that I wanted to go and do like, so my friend Star and I, we like to do like one cool thing a month. And this month we decided to go and get espresso martinis, espresso martini flight. And then I really wanted to go and get some sushi. I've been really into omakase. And this is my second time going to an omakase. And I really wanted to go with someone so I could just like eat the delicious sushi and like moan while I ate it. Cause the first time I went by myself. And it's weird to just moan in a room full of like couples. So I was able to do it and moan and enjoy myself. Um, and they sang me happy birthday. They told the people that it was my birthday. I had a really beautiful time celebrating my birthday. And then on the day of my birth, I went to go and get a beautiful massage. And it completely relaxed my body. And I had a yummy dinner. I really enjoyed my birthday. 28 is going to be a good year.